Rahim Amini, best friend of Nasrat Ahmed Yar, was with him on the night of his murder, just a few hours before he was murdered, and joins us now. I'm really, I'm so sorry uh, about your friend. It's, it's awful. When, when, you were in, when you were in Afghanistan, did you realize how dangerous America was? When me and Nasrat or other guys that they're living in Afghanistan, we never thought, we never realized that how dangerous America. We thought um, America is gonna be more safer, safer country in all of the world. So that's why Nasrat, me, and all the interpreters, they're trying to come American to be safe. What was his dream? What did he want to make a life of? Yeah. You know, the, the, the dream was, because my family left behind, I was in so depression, anxious. He always tell me, he always advised me, Rahim, you know, yeah, remember, so we are here because of our, our kids, you know, we, we are here to be safe. In my, like, the dream was, like, his four children to be, to be educated, you know, to go to school, to go to college. And he said, just wait, so you will have your family too. But if you go back home, Afghanistan, there's nothing, so you cannot do anything there. And the reason he was here, so just because of four children, he said, I'm here, you know, to support my family, to support those Afghans that they left behind, you know, he was sending money for them too. Nasad, not, Nasad was not only the one who was supporting, like, his family, he was supporting different family. Different families back in yeah, Afghanistan. Yeah, different family back in Afghanistan. And he said, I'm here, you know, my daughter, she is studying American because she's not allowed to study in Afghanistan. I'm here, my kids study here to become a good doctor, engineer, a liar. That was the big dream he had, that one. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I don't know how you explain to a 13-year-old who's yeah. been taken away from Afghanistan, her home country, brought to America, and now uh, doesn't, have, doesn't have her father. His, his wife, I know, doesn't work. We're, the GoFundMe page has done quite well. Mm -hmm. Well over $120,000 raised now for him. We're going to tweet out the link uh, to the GoFundMe to, to try to to try to at least help the help this family uh, get back on their feet and, and continue. Let me just end with this: You all risked your life for America in Afghanistan, as did so many interpreters, and now you come to America and your friend is murdered. Was it worth it? Would you help America again? I don't have any answer for that one. Really, I don't have any answer. I cannot tell how I say it because we came with very huge hope in America. You know, it was not easy for NASA to be an American because I was the one who evacuated from Afghanistan. That was the last flight and NASA left behind with my family. And he was the only one, you know, he was the only one that I counted on him. I, I, I asked him, like, please, you know, keep my family with yourself. Nasad, so Nasrat was taking care of your family yeah, in Afghanistan? Yeah, yeah, Nasrat was taking care of my family. And he took my family with his family to Mazar Sharif. They've been in Mazar for over a month. And then from Mazar Sharif, he, he, he took flight to Abu Dhabi. But in, in one month, he was in Afghanistan. He was moving in different province. He was moving in this different area because the Taliban was they, were, they were looking. Yeah, they were looking. Yeah. They, they're tracking people, and uh, he made it finally, but very hard, not easy. Yeah. And when he got here, he he called me, Raymond, I'm here." So we both very happy. I just went Philadelphia. I meet him. He said, "Finally, I rescued from Taliban and survived." But he didn't know he will be murdered here. Yeah, escapes from the Taliban and is is yeah. murdered, murdered in America. I'm so sorry, and you, you're no carrying on a wonderful legacy yeah. for your friend. Thank all right, you so much. Yep. Thank you. we'll be thinking about Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.